Hello friends, welcome to my channel Techno Sujata. So today we are going to learn about semantic elements. This is one of the features that was newly introduced in HTML5. So let's see what are semantic elements and why do we need to use them. So semantic elements are like elements with meaning. It helps to structure your code and makes more readable. So it will be easy to maintain your code with the help of semantic elements. It describes meaning to the developer and browser in human and machine readable way. So the main advantage of semantic element is that it helps search engine crawlers to understand the structure and contents of page. These are few semantic elements which we commonly use in website are header, name, section, article, aside and footer. Let's create simple example with semantic elements. But before that, we'll see difference between semantic versus non-semantic elements. Semantic elements are having some meanings, but non-semantic element doesn't have it. In semantic elements, we can use special attribute for their structure, but non-semantic element can be used with different attribute. For example, in semantic elements are header, name, aside, footer, article, main, section. Non-semantic elements examples are div span. Let's create example using notepad. I have created one index.html file and added HTML5 structure. So let's use our first semantic element header element. Inside header element you can add navigation links, heading, logo. For now I am adding heading and navigation links. If you want you can apply CSS to the header element like I have added using style tag. So let's save this file and open in a browser. So you can see this is our heading and navigation links. Our style gets applied to both the elements and both the elements are showing in center of document. So our header is ready. Let's move to next semantic element section element. Section itself is empty tag. It tells that we have created section. With the help of section, we can divide our website in different parts. We can add heading, paragraph, semantic elements, div, span in sections. For now, I am adding heading and paragraph. Let's save this. On browser, you can see this is our section heading and section content. Let's move to next semantic element that is article element. Article element mostly useful for creating a news article, blog post, comment section in your web page. Article element also has a separate header, footer. So inside article element you can add all semantic elements along with the heading and paragraph. I am adding heading, paragraph and footer. Let's save this file and check the changes on browser. This is our article heading, article content and article footer content. I have separated header, section and article using hr tag. Let's move to next semantic element that is aside element. Aside element are indirectly related to surrounding content. So most frequently aside element used for creating sidebar content. I am adding aside element with some CSS styling. We will see a CSS styling tutorials in future videos. For now if you want you can directly add aside element with some content. Let's save this file. This is our left sidebar aside element contain and right aside element contain. Then comes to our last semantic element that is footer element. Footer element contains copyright information, links, contact information and sitemap information. I am adding footer with the copyright and contact information. Let's save this file and see the result on a browser. This is our final example with all semantic elements. Friends, we have learned in this video what are the semantic elements, difference between semantic versus non-semantic elements, simple example of semantic elements. So, we'll see the new features in the next video. Friends, if you like my video, please click on the like button. Don't forget to subscribe and share. Till then, keep learning. Bye-bye.